what's up? It's your favorite pasty bitch. I need to stop cussing in my videos. Oh my god. Send me your location. Let's focus on communicating. Cause I just need the time and place to come through. So as some of you know, um, I tried to do a lash lift. <clears throat> I'll insert some clips if I still have them, but I tried to do a lash lift, and basically a lash lift is like a perm for your lashes. I was more so under the impression that it was like something that literally lifted your lashes. Now granted, I don't really have short lashes, so why I decided to do this, I don't know. But anyway, all it does is basically what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to like just take your finger and push your lashes up. That's basically what it does. It makes your lashes appear to be longer than what they are. So that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to like bring my lashes up a little bit so they would like more of them would cover my eyelid, if that makes sense. Because I don't like to wear um false lashes. So I tried to do that. Destroyed my eyelashes, y'all. Like I destroyed them. I destroyed them. I destroyed them. They like curled, they curled, they curled them so much that they curled in, sorry, I keep feeling like there's a hair in my hand. Curled my lashes so much that like they flipped in a full circle. So like the top, the end of my lashes, like the, the ends of my lashes, like nearly were flipped around so much that they like spit out my roots of my lashes. Like they were just they were so bad. I do have pictures, so like they were just so disgustingly horrible. So, yeah. This was in May, like right before graduation, which was even worse. So, I had no eyelashes for graduation. Whatevs. Anyway, so I just had to tough it out. I tried to get like a lash curler, like a heated lash curler, to straighten them out so they would be like not straight but not as curly as they were. That shit didn't work. Um, I just started to put like black castor oil or like Jamaican black castor oil on them to try and make it happen faster. I literally like cut them a little bit. Like I tried everything, nothing worked, so I just had to tough it out. So here we are in September. My eyes for the most part, um, they're better. Or if I can zoom in and show. Them. So yeah, they're um better. Like nothing's wrong with them anymore. They are definitely not as thick as they used to be, which I just now am noticing. Um, and I don't think that they're as long as they used to be either. Um, so yeah, I am going to grow these bitches out and make these big and bold and they're going to flourish. So surprisingly, ironically, um, a company called Xlash, um, contacted me via email that doesn't matter um but they just let me know like hey we like your channel whoop de woo would you like to try some shit out and i was like bet, bet it up because that's y'all know i'm just a wee peasant out here who pays for everything moment of silence for my bank account and they yeah they asked me sent me like a link to the shit and i like looked at it to just to see because if it was some shit that i wasn't uh gonna put on my face i was gonna kindly decline so I needed to make sure like other people put it on their face first and their face didn't melt off. So everyone else has seemed to have pretty good results surprisingly. So I was like, yeah, great. But I was like, my eyelashes are already kind of long. So I was like, yeah, anyway, so I was like, my eyelashes are already pretty long, but my eyebrows, my brows though, not so much. Uh, backstory. When I was like 17, I want to say, I that's like when like drawing your brows in like became a real thing and I was following some girl whose eyebrows were always popping, but she didn't have eyebrows. Like she intentionally shaved the tails of her brows off and then drew them in and they looked bombs. So I was like, bet I could do that. Shaved them off. And it was so bad. It was so bad to the point where I lied to everyone and I just told them that it was an accident. That I was like trying to touch up my eyebrows and like someone, I think I might have said my sister, was like talking to me and I like turned and like 
nicked it off so I just had an even amount yeah I totally lagged because I did not want to own up to the fact that I purposely shaved my eyebrows off that it was me on purpose the reason why I don't have eyebrows so I think this might be the first time that I've publicly announced that truth yeah I was ashamed for a really long time so I told him like I don't really have um really full brows I was like because I did notice that they had like an eyebrow equivalent um so I was like if you guys would want to give me that instead so I could give you guys like a better more genuine review that'd be cool um if not I'll totally do the eyelashes that's cool too so they said that they would send me the x lash serum and the brow conditioner and then I got my brow conditioner and my x lash so this is what the packaging look like, looks like it's super cute um but I was surprised because I didn't know I was going to get all three of the items. So, this is what it is. And it says, life is too short. Your lashes shouldn't be. Anyway, so yeah, opens up in this like fancy, it's fancy. It's really like, really nice packaging, okay? And you open it up and I have the eyelash serum and they sent me the X Lash Mascara, which I didn't think that I was going to be getting, but I did. So, turn it. But it's like, I don't know, the packaging is just really cute. It's like felt or velvet or whatever you want to call it. Nah, easily. I'm easily pleased. And then I got the eyebrow conditioner, which is just in this packaging here. I looked at the prices. <coughs> I will say that it pretty, it's pretty expensive. Let me see. So the eyebrow serum. I don't know if they sell them like this in the pack or if this is just like a PR slash thing that they send to people. I'm not sure. But this here is $45. The mascara by itself is $18. And the eyelash serum by itself is $49. So in total I think that I calculated that to be like $112. Not sure. But yeah. So... I just wanted to do a little demo. Granted, of course, I'm not going to have results right now, but um, just to show that I'm a loyal individual, I am going to film this video and post it, but I just wanted to use this stuff and then do maybe like an update a while later to show you like if it works and how I'm digging it. I'm trying to open this, but it's hard very nicely packaged but I was thinking like 49 seems to be like a lot but if it works that's totally a decent price because I know that like Ulta sells um, something called lash food and that shit's like $50 too so it's really not like oh my god I hate when things are like packaged in like plastic like this and it doesn't move. Oh cool, so the mascara is Optimal Black is the shade and it has vitamin E in it, so that's pretty cool. And the X-Lash says it's a natural treatment that makes your lashes look longer, thicker, and darker. So I'm here for the thicker and the darker portion of it. Um, it has water, glycerin, some other stuff in it that I can't read. Cool. Eyebrow conditioner says it's a natural conditioner that makes your eyebrows look thicker and darker. Why is everything, everything, I bet everything is wrapped in this plastic. They, like, are not playing around with the security of this packaging. These mugs are not busting open. Okay, so I'm going to just try and open everything to get all the plastic off of everything because it appears that yes, everything, everything, everything has plastic on it. Okay. We're doing the brows. Okay, so inside of the box is a leaflet. It says to read the leaflet before using. I don't want to, but I'm going to. I will read it. That way you guys don't have to. Okay, so. <clears throat> so this says it adds volume to your brows, making them longer, darker, and thicker. Um, don't use if you're under 18, pregnant, lactating, or you have allergies. Mm, okay. Possible side effects. Excessive application may cause itching and irritation. 
enhanced skin pigmentation in the area of application. And it says, therefore, it is recommended to follow the instructions for use. Probably a good thing that I'm reading these. Cool. It's um, designed for external application only. Before you use, clean your face carefully. Apply the conditioner onto the roots of your brows um, using the applicator. And then it says, apply product daily one hour before you go to bed. Damn. Okay, cool. So this apparently goes on before bed. It has like a, a lip gloss applicator sort of looking thing on it. Um, yeah, that's that one. So since you're supposed to put it on at night, I'm totally going to just go through these and then, because my lighting is decent right now, and then I will put it on later. I was going to assume that the X lash you probably put on before bed too. Shit. X lash says... Same um, side effects, same, same one hour before bed. Okay, X Lash has like a pointy sort of applicator, so like a uh, like a liquid eyeliner sort of applicator, so you can easily like get it on, and then you put it like directly on the roots of your lashes. And then the mascara, I'm gonna assume I can just put on. Today. The mascara says there's no side effects. Yay. The wand is weird. It's like bendy. It's kind of cool. Anyway, so we're just gonna try it out. I hope that this does a great job. Wow. Hold on a second. Look at the difference, guys. It's pretty good. Hold on. I found me a gem. I really like this one for the bottom lashes because it's like curved so it like gets every single one of them with no struggle. This is a good mascara. Turn it up. That's really exciting. Wow. Okay so top and bottom lashes are done. Brows finito. I'll be back in a week to show you guys how I'm looking. Through drought and Natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be called